Right, I've been given this thing to look at. I don't actually know what's wrong with it. Apparently, something's wrong with it. I've got no idea what. Haven't powered it up. Haven't done anything with it. And you've got a couple of cables to plug the speakers in. So, one's got the control cable on it, which is obviously this one here. And the other's got a little mono plug here, which goes to that side, which plugs back into the back of the amp here. So the amp's built into this, obviously, into the subwoofer part. It's all built into that. I don't actually know whether it powers up or whether it's got audio problem or something. I don't know. I've got no idea. May not be able to fix it. But we'll have a look. So this is where things plug into the back here. So we've got the left speaker plugs in there. And that's where the interface plugs in is there. So audio interfaces for the actual audio inputs are these phono jacks or a 3.5mm jack as well. So I'm going to use the 3.5mm jack, inject some audio into this thing and see if anything actually happens. But before I do that, let's power it up and see if it's got any power. Because if there's no power, there's no one plugging audio in. So we need to do some logical sequence. So let's turn the power on. I heard a noise. Did hear a click. It's consuming one watt. Okay, that turned on. Little lights on here. I think that control is cleaning. Okay, well, let's chuck some audio into it then. And in fact now I push this power button on, it's consuming 7 watts instead, so it's doing something. Alright, so I've got my phone, I've got one of my own tracks on here, so I can't get copyright strikes because I own it. Let's try it. Well... Um, it works. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be fixing. Well, let's just try some more stuff. That control works. Volume is scratchy, but it works. Power button works. Um, Okay, well, I guess the only thing is that it's got a scratchy volume control. Now, I did notice one fault though. Let me just pause this music. On this control here, the cable is coming out the back. It's pulled out. I mean, maybe that's related. Maybe it got yanked and it's caused a problem. So, we've got to pull this one apart to clean this control anyway. So we shall look at reseating that in case there's a problem with that cable, maybe it's got a broken wire and it just happens to be we have moved it, it's now working, I don't know. But. So we're going to need to figure out how to get this thing apart. Now it's got four what appear to be cap screws on the front. Now I've seen this little trick done before by manufacturers where they do this for show, where it could actually not be cap screws that hold it together, it could actually be part of the moulded bezel. I've seen that done, but these do appear to be real cap screws, there's one way to find out. If I can grab it, magnet, it's a real cap screw. Alright, so we're not going to break anything by trying to undo them because they are actually cap screws. Pretty good. Right, let's get these undone. I've got my drill out because it might be easier. Look at that. Special ones. They're not actually normal cap screws. They've got this plastic threading, little sift tapping thread on them. It's actually a bolt. It makes a lot of like bolts, but they're not actually bolts. Look at that. It's almost like I've got a real bolt and machined it down. <laughs> Make it look beefy than it actually is. That's a nice little trick, isn't it? That's what they've done, look. Looks like they've got a real cap screw and they've machined it down. That's almost what it looks like. Why would you make a custom screw for that? Alright, pull the front panel off, hopefully. Ooh, that doesn't want to move. Have I missed anything? I would have thought the controls would come with the front panel. Uh, okay, well, let's keep poking it. I think there's hidden screws. I think there's hidden screws under here. I can feel a slot. So I'm just going to poke with a poke, and there's a slot there. Look, there we go. There's a hidden screw under the foot. Isn't that nice of them? So let's both those hidden screws out. Let's try again. Still doesn't move. Hmm. So now that's all unscrewed, it should just pull apart, but I'm actually having trouble doing it. Oh, there we go. I'm starting to get some movement now. It's like it's almost like it's stuck. It doesn't want to pull out from this side. So I'm going to fight with this for a little bit, then I'll come back. 
You don't need to be fine with us, do you? So the very top of this is really stuck. I was going to try something, which sometimes works. Get spiders up the side as you can and squeeze on the bottom side and see if it pops the top out. Sometimes it works. Looks like maybe not today. This kind of makes you wonder if there's a hidden screw behind this logo. Well, I think it's confirmed. There's something going on here. Yeah, there's another screw down here. Here we go. Hidden screw and that screwdriver doesn't fit. Get another one. Alright, so that's the last screw out. So there's a total of seven screws holding this thing shut. Unless there's something else that's going to surprise you with. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're in. That's just some pretty small wires going onto this thing. Something must be wrong in here, I reckon. I reckon it's this cable. And something is not right here. Probably because one of these wires has been stretched or pulled on or something. The yellow one seems to be the tightest. Maybe it's that one. So to clean this scratchy control, I need to get these knobs off as well. And I can't bloody pull it off. I can't move them. Ah, that one's going. This one's moving now. Yeah, so I've got to get these off so I can take the circuit board out so I can get to the control to clean it. That's a mission getting them out. Bloody hell. Don't know why they're so tight. Anyway, or maybe I can keep working this one. I think it may be glued on, but no, that's looking alright. So I'll keep trying to get this one off. Then I can take the circuit board out, clean the control at least, because I think I might need to dispose of this connector. I might actually just need to cut all this off and solder straight onto the circuit board and not have a connector there. Cut all these off because there's also a broken wire probably around here somewhere most likely probably the best way of dealing with it because you know you don't mess around trying to recrimp these bloody connectors and stuff like that and rejoin these it's just not worth it just cut them off put them back in the board be quicker and probably better long term well this seems to have got it sticking a spudger down its side and levering both sides at once with the spudgers i've got some movement out of it now and they stopped again but we'll get there now i've actually got a gap to get into I think I can get it out. Well, that's a mission. So now the knobs off. I've taken the uh, nuts off the knobs, which is sitting over here. So it's not attached to the front panel anymore. Now I'm going to take these screws out. Lots of screws in this thing. I'm quite surprised how thoroughly screwed in these things are. I suppose in one way you could say it's decent assembly, but. No, I'm just surprised it's that necessary. Anyway, get all these out. Get the board out and have a look. It looks like to get it out, because you've got these fittings on the side here. We need to kind of shove it sideways. Or something. It's interesting. Do they pop it in to get it in the first place? There you go, they got it. Right. Here we are. Oh, look, it's got capacitors in there. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's this control which is bad. We'll spray some cleaner in that. Actually, I'll spray them both. There's quite a lot going on this ball. But yeah, that's what I think I'll do is unsolder that connector, solder the wires straight in. It's definitely going to be a easy way of fixing it, I think. But I'll clean these controls up. So I'm just looking closely at this plug, and this end of the plug wasn't quite pushed in. So maybe I'm actually overthinking about broken wires. It may not be broken wires. It might just be this plug got yanked slightly. It was sitting kind of like this. Let's get closer. I don't know you can see that, but... This end of the plug was sitting very really slightly high. And I just pushed it back in again. So, I mean, could that have done it? Maybe? What I might do is power this up again, mess with these wires, and see if it actually cuts out. It's probably the way to go. And if it does cut out, then I'll do the wiring, like I said, and cut that off and just re-solder it straight into the board. And if it doesn't cut out, I can probably secure it better, make sure it doesn't fall out again, secure this cable properly, unlike Logitech. Give it back, maybe, I don't know. So I've got the power up, as you can hear, and it seems fine. So I'm actually thinking maybe it was just the, um, the plug being pulled very slightly out, which is the simple solution. And frankly is the one I was expecting that seems fine it's not playing up at all oh, it's me touching things <laughs> uh, bit of mains hum there <laughs> yeah that seems fine so I screw that ball back in again I'm gonna put some sealant around this thing just to help hold it down some more I mean, obviously I did put some in the factory but it wasn't a great amount it's just like a little smear almost nothing there you can see it's, it's doing almost nothing so I'm gonna uh, put some more on here to help secure it I'm gonna get some hot glue and do that with that. 
and also on the cable entry here which Logitech kind of did but not very well I'm going to put a cable tie around this and then hot glue it cable tie means it won't pull through and hot glue will stop it from turning hopefully so that way it won't get twisted up and stuff like that which I think is one of the common problems with these things um, based on this design I think it's a bit rubbish really <laughs> it's not cable properly from Logitech's perspective when these break people have to go and buy another one good for business not good for the consumer or the planet apparently that's why this one wanted me so there's a decent sized cable tie a bit of heft to it I shall I'll well, probably turn it up too much now oh I don't think I'm going to slide it over I've done it up too much no I'm going to have to loosen the book off that's stupid I'm just going to pick this back out so I can get this thing slid out more so I can get the thing there we go that should do it right there's the cable tie in place down as far as I can get it I'm going to smother that earring hot glue that one happening in so I've got this black hot glue which is not the usual stuff I'm going to stick this all over here all over on this edge that's held much better than it was from the factory so I'll push it down make sure it's fully bedded down before the glue goes hard I think it is bedded down but I need to make sure that will not come out again got to do the same thing down here all around here, got to fill that up with hot glue so it doesn't move right, hot glue is all applied in here now that's all completely glued up you can kind of see that can't you? let's put it back together do you think I should retest it before we put it back together? it's always this point where things go wrong I think I should. So, obviously together, but not screwed together. Got the phone ready. Power on. Oh, turn it on first. Yep. That's working. Let's plug the other speaker in. I haven't plugged the other one in. Yep, the other speaker's working too. That's all good. We can put it back together properly. Then it will break. If you want to just notice as I was putting it back together, these screws are actually different lengths. So now they've got these custom screws for this. Each one's individually different. Well, each pair is different, these ones are the same length, these two are different length. Why don't they just make the posts a bit longer inside so they have the same screw and save the manufacturing cost? It's just weird. Why don't they do that? That basically concludes the repair, I think. Let's just check this. No scratchiness on the volume control anymore, that worked beautifully. No scratchiness on the base control. So those are fixed as well. Play some music. Check out links down below. Subscribe over there. Patreon support link over there. See you later.